as you can hear it, the fans are what it's all about. And it's really cool to talk to some of the new school and old school fans because they all have one thing in common. They love the D-backs. I saw these lucky fans over here. They got uh, some autographs earlier. Who here got some autographs? Whoop! I knew there was a group over here that got some. Whose autograph did you get? Owings and Kennedy. So did you get out here pretty early to get this? This is a nice little spot you got here. About three hours early. Wow! Did you see it outside? Yeah, it was oh. really hot out there. Yeah, it is a little toasty out there. So how long have you been a D-backs fan? Uh, ever since about nine. And how old are you now? 21. Oh, Troy Dwyer. So you saw the 2001 team? Yep, right here. All right. Were you here at the game? Unfortunately not. <laughs> but what were you doing when you saw them win that? Um, I was sitting at home watching the game, got all excited, and Gonzo hit that little blooper and filled in right over his head. It's a memory that you're probably never going to forget. Exactly. And what about this year's team? I mean, it started out, you know, everyone's kind of like, oh, this is what we expected. But then they're surprising everybody. Exactly. I'm just happy that we finally got a year to really celebrate and get behind them and hopefully they can carry it all the way. Were you able to be here in 2001? Oh, yeah. I was born and raised here. Okay. I was not here in 2001. So can you tell people like him and I who weren't here, what was the stadium like? What was the city like then? Yeah. Uh, well, 2001, it was electrifying here. Um, I saw the game from home. Uh, my wife and I saw it. Um, this year, we're season ticket holders for the last two years, so we've progressively uh, been coming to games, and you know, it's it's great. Uh, but like he said, wish there was more people showing up. We're in a pennant race and number one in the league, and people are just I don't know. It's almost you know, embarrassing. It, it, yeah, really you know, um, beginning of the season. Uh, I knew good things were going to happen. Never dreamed that we'd be in the pennant race, but knew that we were going to have a great season with the team that they've put together, the changes that they made. Um, couldn't have asked for a better skipper. Um, oh, about Gibby. Yeah, it really is. Uh, you know, we've just we've had some struggles, and it's just turned out to be really good. Just getting into playoffs, do you think this will kind of amp up the city a little bit more? I don't know. I hope so. If they don't, shame on us. Shame on us. You know? Definitely. Yeah. And, you know, let's not forget Kevin Towers. I mean, without him, we're not doing any of this. You know, Kevin Towers and Gibson, that's what it's all about right there. And all them people, I mean, Don Bella, you know, um, all of them, Alan Trammell, you know, I mean, all of them. I mean, they're, they're, you, you have an all-star coaching staff, best coaching staff in baseball. Yeah. And I want to cast the first vote for Gibson, manager of the year, number one. There we go. First vote. There we go. First of many. Yeah, first of many. The current Diamondbacks team has changed as of actually this month in September. So a lot of the fans are a little confused who's actually on the team. So I'm going to play a little bit of game with you. Name five current Diamondbacks. Para. Young. Um, Justin Upton. Oh. Gold, um, Paul Goldsmith. Chris Young. Para, Aaron um, Young. Justin Upton. Upton. Reynolds, um, Miguel Montero, Ian Kennedy, Chris Young. Upton is a home run dude. Uh, that's, that's my favorite dude. I don't know a lot of them after that. Ryan Roberts. Um, Goldschmidt. And that's all I know. Um, I got to think of a pitcher. Montero. Um, McDonald. Oh, um, Para. Daniel Hudson. Blum? Let me show you what they're doing. <laughs> no, look over there at that roster up there. Wait, that's being smart. Good job. Can you name, uh, can you name uh, the 2001 World Series championship team? Well, there's Luis Gonzalez, Schilling, Council, uh, Mark Grace, Luis Gonzalez, Matt Williams, Johnson, J. Bill, Grace, Williams. All right, see how much easier it was? It seems that people can remember that team. But that's the whole goal of this season, and it seems like the current D-backs are actually pretty close to maybe having a miraculous season. They are, and we're going to do it again in 2011. Go you know, one of the cool things about the positive side is being able to come out to a ballpark like this and relive some of the great moments that are happening today, but yet going back 10 years ago when I still call it surreal, 
that the Arizona Diamondbacks brought a world championship right here with Jerry Colangelo, Bob Brindley, and a whole cast of characters. Now I'm gonna remind you something. This is my first full year in Arizona. This is the year that I became a D-backs fan, so I'm pulling for you guys, let's do it. Yeah, she keeps calling herself the, the little rabbit's foot, the good <laughs> luck charm, and hopefully we'll be seeing you next in the World Series. So for myself, Roy Garibaldi, and Michelle, why don't you go out and make it a championship year right here in Arizona.